yes now in this video let us try to understand what is the x bar chart okay so how to calculate lcl value ucl value using this example you see here the given example measurements on averages x bar and the range is denoted by r bar from 20 samples each of size 5 uh, gave the following uh, sorry given the following results x bar is equals to 99.6 r bar is equals to 7.0 uh, they are asking uh, determine the values of the control limits for drawing a mean chart so given that for n is equals to 5 mean average is equals to 2.32 into proportion sorry population sd standard deviation so using this given data we need to calculate what is the ucl and lcl values so let us understand the given uh, data here uh, let uh, x bar x double bar value they are given directly here uh, in the example itself x double bar value is 99.6 and r bar value is 7.0 and they are given uh, <coughs> one formula here in the bracket that is mean range so mean, mean range is denoted by r bar is equals to 2.32 into sigma so they are given in the example itself so using this easily you can calculate sigma value so if you take expression for sigma sigma is equals to r bar by 2.32 sigma is equals to r bar by 2.32 use sigma value so r bar value they are given in the data 7.0 that is 7 so 7 divided by 2.32 gives the sigma value therefore the sigma value is 3.0172 so this is sigma value once if you get uh, sigma value then it is very easy to calculate uh, uh, UCL and LCL value. So if they are giving a uh, sigma means uh, we are ga uh, get here uh, sigma value once if you get sigma value then to control uh, means for the control chart you need uh, a CL value, UCL value and LCL value. To calculate UC va UCL value so you need to remember one formula that is UCL x bar is equals to x double bar plus 3 sigma divided by square root of n so you know solve the value you substitute and try to calculate x double bar value is 99.6 3 into sigma by square root of n sigma is uh, you are calculated here 3.0172 you substitute then n value number of samples is sample size is 5 so therefore if you substitute and calculate you are getting 103.6479 this is your upper control limit value for x bar chart Similarly, if you go with uh, lower control limit, x bar minus 3 sigma by square root of n. So, only in place of uh, plus, we are using minus. Therefore, you are getting LCL value. So, your LCL value is 95.5521. Then, go for uh, control limit. Control limit. CL value is nothing but your x double bar value. Here in the given data, x double bar value is 99.6. So here uh, we are calculated UCL value, LCL value and CL value directly they are given. So this is uh, how we are calculating upper control limit and uh, lower control limit. So from the next example we are trying to uh, draw X bar chart. Okay. So go with the second example. The following data gives the readings uh, of uh, 10 samples of size 6. So 10 samples they are given uh, size 6 each in the production of a certain component so sample 1 to 10 so mean x bar values they are given here then range r values they are given so not r bar value r values they are given and x bar values they are given individually then draw con uh, draw control chart for x bar so in bracket they are given for n is equals to 6 capital A2 is equals to 0 0.483 you can see here capital A2 value they are given means here they are not given sigma value that is you need to notice here so what is your conclusion they are asking to draw control chart and also they are asking what is our conclusion whether uh, we need to decide the process is under control or out of control on the basis of uh, some calculation let us proceed for the calculation solution part so they are given sample numbers you write uh, means you construct a table for this sample numbers and sample mean values also they are given x bar values you write in your order 
and in the same way you write uh, sample range that is r values then you take here uh, the sum of uh, that is uh, you calculate average value of x bar here so if you add all the x bar values you are getting 5460 is sum of uh, x bar value and in the same way if you add all uh, all r values you are getting sum of r is equals to 840 then proceed for the calculation of x double bar x double bar formula is summation x bar by n summation x bar value 5460 by n that is the number of uh, samples are 10 therefore you are getting 546 546 is x double bar value nothing but cl value therefore uh, next is r bar value r values they are given now we need to find r bar values to find r bar values use the formula summation r by n so summation r value you are calculated it is 840 845 uh, 840 divided by number of samples gives 84 84 is your uh, range uh, that is uh, average value of range then go for calculation of ucl and lcl here sigma values they are not uh, given in the data therefore uh, but they are given a to capital a to value therefore use these formulas to calculate ucl and lcl values to calculate ucl x bar plus a to r bar is equals to you substitute x double bar value a to value and r bar value so that you are getting ucl value as 586.57 Similarly, if you go by LCL formula, you are getting lower control limit value 505.43. Then CL value, obviously X double bar value acts as a CL value that is 546. Now, uh, success successfully you are uh, calculated UCL value, LCL value and CL value. Using this, uh, we shall uh, write a X bar chart for this. You know that uh, horizontal line is known as a baseline on baseline you write number of samples they are given number of samples 1 to 10 therefore in the same order you write it on baseline starting with 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 so on up to 10 or 11 that is your choice then along a vertical line you need to write sample range so sample range values they are given here so mean x bar values is nothing but uh, sample range so these mean x bar values x bar values you are writing along vertical uh, line so while uh, writing uh, these x bar values along uh, vertical line you need to do with uh, you need to do one small calculation you identify the small you identify the small values in this x bar so small value is uh, 183 and the big number highest number in the given data x bar value is uh, 6 1 sorry 753 753 is the highest value and 183 is the lowest value you uh, subtract here 753 minus 183 okay you subtract uh, 753 minus 183 divided by the number of samples so that you are getting some average value so that is uh, you can calculate the distance between uh, distance between uh, vertical lines here uh, in average you are getting 47 or 49 something so orally we will take the distance along uh, y axis is 50 so starting from uh, because the lowest value here in the data is uh, lowest value is um, 183 so for that you better to start with uh, 300 okay 300 350 400 450 500 550 600 650 700 750 800 because 700 something is your highest value better you take up to 800 then uh, let us mark uh, cl and ucl cl uh, ulcl values here so your cl uh, value is 546 you mark here 546 approximately this is the line uh, starting line of 546 so you make a solid line and name it as CL that is the control limit similarly you go with UCL and LCL values UCL value is 586.57 approximately you mark here 586.57 586 is approximately here you make a dotted line here and you name it as UCL similarly you go with the LCL LCL value is 505.43 
so phi not phi means approximately we are getting here this dotted line shows uh, lcl value okay then after drawing these three lines one is ucl cl and lcl now you plot uh, your data on uh, means in the form of a graph so let us uh, proceed with the first value first value is uh, for one sample number one your sample mean is 183 so 183 means uh, you are getting here so here somewhere okay so you neglect uh, that uh, first one you go with the second uh, for sample number two you are getting phi not eight sample number two phi not eight this is sample number two here phi not eight means approximately this point this is second point and third number is uh, when sample number is uh, three then your corresponding x bar value is phi not five then 582 so these all points you need to mention here so phi not 2 phi not 8 like that so you are getting this uh, if you join this you are getting this curve then you can see here this is your ucl this is lcl your curve is going beyond ucl and lcl so therefore you are going to decide that this process is out of control if this uh, curve is under this lines under these ucl and lcl then you are deciding that the process is under control but here the lines are going beyond ucl and lcl therefore your process is out of control then you need to write the conclusion after this diagram so therefore uh, the process is out of control due to because of uh, these uh, uh, plots the plots are going beyond ucl and lcl therefore the process is out of control this is the way of uh, uh, discussing the problems so you please try to solve some more problems related to x bar chart okay thank you please keep watching next videos